Good morning everybody and welcome back to Visit File Course. We're on a journey of discovery in Poulton this morning. It's Monday the 1st of March when we're videoing this and it's an absolutely beautiful day. First day of spring apparently. So we're taking advantage of the gorgeous weather and we're going to go looking for a local mystery. So I've heard about the um, pirate's grave in St Chad's Churchyard many, many, many times. I never knew where it is, but I've got some directions, so we're going to go and see if we can find it. So the instructions I've got are going to the churchyard from the Teenwall side. That is obviously the Teenwall centre. You can tell that because this is it above the door. So we're going to go into the churchyard. I've actually done a couple of other videos this morning about the church and the crocuses and, and whatnot and it, there's so many people just enjoying the view this morning it's been it's been lovely watching people so we're going to go into the churchyard as instructed and we're going to turn right follow the path to the right stop at the corner where there's a back door the seagull up there looking residences keeping an eye out on everybody so we're going to follow the path to the right and stop at the corner where there's a back door. Now I know there's a, a back door up here. So we'll, we'll go and see if we can find what we're looking for. Because the, the churchyard at St Chad's, if you've ever been here, you'll know that it's absolutely full of old gravestones. Currently we're walking on ordinary, what you might call vintage paving slabs just ordinary stones but throughout the throughout the yard there are gravestones all over and they're fascinating the uh, it's quite an enjoyable um, pastime actually reading them i think there are some underneath here yeah these are these are some of them so i'll show you these on the way past oh, we're upside we're upside down for that one what does this one say here lieth the body of Will, son of Richard and Elizabeth Warbrick of Poulton, who died 15th of July 1757 in his sixth year. Also of Thomas, their son, who died the 4th of August 1757 in his first year. Also of William, their son, who died 26th of March 1758 in his can't quite make that one out it's the, the numbers worn away also a van their daughter who died at the 20th of april 1762 in her fourth year elizabeth his wife who was interred the 22nd of february 1768 in her 36th year elizabeth's second wife died 16th of May. By this point we're starting to run out of space so this one doesn't actually say Elizabeth in full, it says Eliz, colon, his second wife. And then 1775, aged 16, Nancy, his daw, daw, full stop, <laughs> daughter, died in June 1770-something, aged 13, another Elizabeth. Daughter died 29th of August 1776, so that's the full family. And then at the end of it, we've got age... Oh, Richard Warbrick died April the 6th, 1777, aged 49. So that's the full family. But that's something to do with Warbrick, the name that we know around here locally. So these big ones are all tombstones. So we're going looking for a mystery anyway, so we need to turn right. Hold on, what's this one? Thomas Hull of Hardhorn, interred 31st of January 1776, age 15, age 59. Goodness. Fascinating. So there is a, a, a local tale of law in, Fleet, in Fleetwood, Poulton, I'm in the wrong town. In Poulton, that there is a pirate's grave. So, according to my instructions, we follow the path to stop at the corner where there's a back door. So that's the back door, I would, I would think, would you not agree? And it says, look at the floor immediately underneath the door. So if we look at the, the floor here, oh, 
Now it's probably too faint for you to be able to make out, but can you see? Right in the middle here, there's the shape of a skull. And you can see the two eye sockets. And this, I think there's supposed to be a, Oh, an hourglass. Not crossbones, I thought it was a crossbones. It's supposed to be an hourglass, which is the image of death. So I can only think that that is something to do with what was here. Which is obviously worn away a lot now. Hmm. But apparently... Now, here we, here we go, because bear in mind that Poulton is the, the, the trading town of Skipple. And if you've subscribed and hit the bell for notifications, you'll get the alert when we do a video about Skipple, because we're going to go and do one this morning while it's sunny. But Skipple was a major trading port. And you'll have also noticed that on this stone, it says Edward Sherdley at the top. Uh, Aged, died, 21st of September, 1771, 1741, aged 71. So apparently Edward Shirdley was a rich Poulton merchant and he died in 1741. And that's his gravestone. So you may believe what you like. Was it a, was it a pirate's? A pirate's grave from the days of smuggling and nefarious dealings in the 1700s when traders came through Skipple with their goods from all around the world, or is it the gravestone of a Poulton merchant? In 1881, Poulton Cemetery opened on Moorland Road, and then in 1884, St Chad's graveyard closed. Um, and burials from then onwards were made in, made in the new one on Moorland Road. Um, since 1950, ashes have been interred to the west of the church in, in, in a grassy area. Um, you might have noticed it. In fact, we'll go back that way and I'll, I'll show you. Um, but in 1973, the churchyard was covered almost in horizontal gravestones. And there were, well, from what I can gather, they were quite kind of uneven and a bit dangerous. So they were all lifted and most of them were made into paths, which is why they're flat on the floor and there were some really old ones dating back to sort of the 1700s, 1800s. What's this one? Thomas Alka of... What does that say? Wolf, Wolfia? Who oh, departed this life on the 28th of March 1750, age 46. So that's the area where the ashes are interred, as you can see by the memorial flowers. So that's the story of the pirate's grave. And there are loads of gravestones, you can see all the way down this path here. There are lots of stones all, all ready for you to ready for you to explore and read it's fascinating looking around old graveyards so i hope you've enjoyed that little search for the pirate's grave and if you have give this video a give this video a like give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and don't forget make sure that you've subscribed to the visit file course youtube channel we'll be back with much more interesting content so we'll see you later bye for now bye